Uh, hi, this is Sarah from Crowlot. Uh, check out my interview with Mr. Indy. My EP Icarus is coming out on the 2nd of September. Very excited for you guys to hear it. Um, Crowlot project is, is um, it comes from a very personal place. Um, it kind of started off by me going through a dark period in my life. I think it was around 2018 where um, I was uh, crying a lot. So I was like, let's name this project Cry A Lot. Um, is, and it's kind of my way of like taking control of all these tears and kind of trying to make it into something. Like I didn't want that moment to just kind of pass by me or I wanted to like turn it into something. Um, like create something out of it and um and like and the sound as well um it kind of explores like the kind of that darkness I went through but also kind of like this like positive side to it like a whole it's like I feel like there's like a whole whole journey there and it's like told through the Icarus mythology um and it's kind of like the sucks and the how I interpret the Icarus mythology um I don't see it as a cautionary tale like how people say like don't fly too close to the sun or you might fall and drown it's my my kind of interpretation is like oh let's let's just like put it like sometimes you gotta risk it all to kind of kind of become more and yeah I feel like this EP kind of is is that when I was like writing this EP, I didn't want to be like, like kind of sugarcoat it and be like, oh, it's all great and it'll be fine. And like, yeah, like it's all, all, all going to be fine. And I think like, it's like, I wanted to explore the dark side of it as well. Like songs like Hell is Here is about like feeling like stuck or being, feeling like you're in hell, like despair. But also like songs like Touch the Sun is like, kind of like explores more like feeling invincible like nothing can stop feeling like nothing can stop you and I feel like 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 us as human beings I think that's something that I really wanted to celebrate like how we how we all I feel like go through these like up and down moments and I don't think like um and even Icarus as well um yeah he died in the end um like he fell into the sea and drowned but like look at how many people talk about him still to this day like I would be watching like tv or like film and people mention his name and like we all I think like he's like he's like immortalized in that way like I feel like death doesn't mean it's it's like a complete end and like that's 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 it I feel like um he, his spirit kind of lives on um to this day and he I think he's the only human being that flew that high to this um to the sun so I feel like it's something we should be celebrating um and kind of like seeing it through like a different perspective yeah attracted to that story because of that interpretation and then when I grew up I realized that's not really the common way of interpreting it and um I think like this this kind of like um kind of going for it kind of feeling is so uh, it's like a philosophy I've been trying to like live up to in my life and I think like it make it's something that makes living really exciting and I, it's kind of like it's been something I I always kind of have close to my heart yeah um, I guess like when I was writing the EP I wasn't really I, I don't really like listening to other music when I'm writing mm. kind of dark moments or like those screaming is it's really actually like a mirror of like what was happening in my head when I was like writing it um Hell is Here is the first track I wrote in this EP and that was when I was like actually in the dark place and I think like 
like when I listen back to it, the lyrics feels like some kind of diary entry back in the, back then. Like it's very like raw and feels very like there's like a line that goes like when I wake up, I don't know why it's so hard to leave my mind. And it was like actually like my feeling back then, like it was so hard to kind of leave this kind of dark place, even when I was like trying to leave it. And um, and I feel like it it kind of like, yeah, it just does feel like a diary entry or something of when I was in that moment. Yeah. I guess like with Caracara Bonito, it's it's a music that it that me, Gus and Jamie makes. Um, so that that that's always going to be Caracara Bonito. And I would say like Caralot is is music um me and um Jennifer, my um co-writer or producer, like we we make. So it's kind of like there's that difference. And I think it's like having I guess it's like having different chefs in the kitchen like what you come up with is different but it's kind of all coming out through like through me um I would say that's that's the difference yeah definitely um I I have a um like a launch party coming up um on the 15th of September that will be the the debut cryolop um live show um and yeah I would I would love to like tour this EP in the future like I feel like this is like this feels like a start of something exciting yeah I would love to like go on a tour and like go back there and like see more of Mexico as well so um, yeah I would love to